hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to teach you how you can set up an ajax request in your wordpress custom plugin when you work with ajax in wordpress the process is a little bit different so that's why i'm going to make a video on it so you can easily understand that how we can set up this so without any delay let's start <laughs> first of all here you can see that on my browser i have set up a project in my local host and this is the address in scdocs i have a folder named server and then i have another folder named project in which my wordpress website exists so what i'm going to do simply i will open that folder project and then you have to open wp content plugins as we know all the plugins goes inside this folder in your wordpress project so what I'm going to do, I will create a new folder here named FineGap. Then I will open this folder in Visual Studio Code. I will click on this open folder button. And from here again, I will navigate to my folder, this FineGap, and I will click select folder. Inside this, I'm going to create a new file like FineGap.php. In this file, first of all, I will add basic uh, plugin structure here if you are familiar with WordPress plugin I hope I don't need to explain this and uh, this is just uh, some of our plugin information and required commands by using these commands WordPress understand that which file is the main file of your WordPress plugin and uh, next first of all I will open the WP admin of my WordPress website here I will type the username and password and here I will select plugins and installed plugins so currently here you can see that you will see your plugin if you uh, in my case is it is activated but uh, because I was practicing before but you will see a plugin here like unactivated plugin here like this so what I'm going to do I will simply click on activate to activate our plugin and you can see that the plugin is activated and now I will click on pages all pages and uh, here I will click on add new page and I'm going to name this like fine gap Ajax and inside this I will add a short code like fine gap I hope you will be familiar that how we can add a short code in your custom WordPress plugin I will click on then publish and publish again I will click on view page so our page is created short code is set up now we have to access this short code in our custom WordPress plugin so what I'm going to do I will type here add short code and here the first parameter would be our short code name which is currently fine gap let me zoom it a little bit and second parameter would be a callback function like f g p suppose this is a prefix for fine gap when you work with custom wordpress plugins always try to use a prefix in your classes the id that you use and the functions uh, that you create so your plugin never conflict with other plugins uh, on wordpress and here i will type short code you can give any name to this function but make sure the function should be unique and use this uh, prefix to avoid confliction so here inside this function when we access we use ob start function so it worked properly and here i will uh, echo some content like i am working or talk is cheap show me the code that's it and next what i'm going to do i will create a variable here like contents is equal to ob get contents friends basically our main topic is uh, Ajax so that's why I'm not going to discuss these functions but if you ever work with short codes make sure to do this stuff basically here your actual content will be goes obviously you can create a separate file like uh, my form.php and uh, you can include that file here like this include once and my form.php and here you can work uh, move next to work with your uh, other HTML but these functions are very important otherwise you will you are going to face some issues semicolon and in the last what we have to do we have to return contents so we have set up our short code now let me refresh my page okay there is an error 
okay i forgot semicolon here now again let me refresh the page still it's not working because we have to add some contents like code is cheap show me the product let me refresh so friends now you can see that our uh, this short code is working properly and we have accessed this in our custom plugin so basically until here we just create a custom plugin and set up our short code now the actual ajax uh, is going to start for example what i'm going to do uh, we we'll, we will create an input here and a button and on click on that button we will send this input data to our server so let me show you first of all here i will like h2 or i will create an input here its id would be like fgp input and here i will create an other button its type would be button and id would be like f g p submit here i will type the text submit and here i will add a placeholder here like enter your data now again let me refresh my page so you can see that we have an input and a button here next uh, we have to set up our javascript file where we will write our javascript code so what i'm going to do i will again open the findgap.php and here let me type our a comment like hooks here i will add another action which is wp and q scripts and again a callback function like fgp and q js and inside this callback function i will write my code to include my javascript file so basically this is our function and here what i'm going to type wp and q okay wp and q script and inside this we have to pass some parameters here you can type any of the string the second parameter would be our file path so i will type here my plugin url and inside this let's assume we have a file named ajax request dot js and here we have to pass this uh, constant now let me copy this my file name and here i will create that file let me type here console.log file is working or js code is working and next parameter would be an array in this array i will pass jquery because we need uh, we will use jquery to send the ajax request and here i will type my plugin version and in the last we have to pass another parameter which is true so basically uh, by doing this step you can add your javascript in your custom plugin okay again let me refresh okay there is an error okay actually basically there was two mistake first of all plugins url you have to type s here and here we forgot comma now it will be working so the error is solved now what i will i'm going to do i will click on inspect and from here i will click on console let me zoom it a little bit and here you can see that js code is working so it means we have successfully included our javascript file in our custom wordpress plugin so next what we have to do we have to write here our javascript code so i will type here jquery document dot ready and function inside this i will pass dollar here so i can access jquery global object inside this and here first of all i will create an javascript object here like my data is equal to one thing you have to make sure you have to pass action here action and let me type here like my action abc you can pass any action and second you can pass like input data you can pass as much data as you want in your ajax request and from here what i'm going to do from here i will copy this id and first of all let's just 
I will copy this input ID and uh, paste here like var fgp input is equal to dollar my id dot value so that's how we will get the value of this input that user will type here and now simply i will copy this here i will type the semicolon and fgp input so now what we have to do we have to execute this code on the click of this button let me open chat gpt and that's how you can chat gpt while development like i will type here like set an on click listener to this button using jquery my button id is this okay simply you can see that it has set up an on click listener and i will paste that code here so that's how chat gpt increase the development process very fast we have uploaded a series on chat gpt introduction and advanced prompt engineering on our youtube channel you can uh, visit our youtube channel to check that and uh, now first of all i will paste that code here currently i am going to comment and now let me refresh this to check either this on click listener is working or not so yes on uh, the on click listener is working right now and uh, whatever user will type we will send that through our action now we have to set up our ajax request so first of all i will type here dollar ajax and uh, inside this we have to pass the first parameter would be url so how you will access this ajax url that's a very important question uh, you cannot just directly write the file name here in wordpress the process is a little bit different so what i'm going to do i will open findgap.php and uh, we know that this was our short code so here before this return contents i will create a script tag and uh, here i will type window dot ajax url is equal to double quotes and inside this we can get the ajax url by using this function which is admin underscore url and inside this we have to pass parameter like admin ajax dot php and semicolon okay now let me refresh this page and here because we have uh, stored that variable as a global object so you can see that whenever i have typed here ajax url so basically this is our ajax url currently server project so that's how you will access the ajax url and now what i'm going to do i will copy this ajax url and directly paste here inside my request the second parameter would be data type i mean what data you expect to return from server so i have set up this to AJ, uh, json and next is data and here you have to pass your data so what i'm going to do i will directly pass my this my data object here and next i will type here method post here you can use your desired method like get or post here i will type like error so this function will handle the error i will type here like response if because of some reason your ajax request will fail so this callback function will handle that and here i will directly echo response mostly we uh, never use this function i mean not never but there are rare chances we use this function okay that's it okay now what we have to do first of all let me refresh this page and here i will open the network and uh, let me type here some data and i will click on submit button okay it is saying me that button is clicked let me hard refresh again i will type some data here and click on this submit button so you can see that our ajax request there is an error but our ajax request is sending right now and this is our request in which we have passed our data and an action here currently no response from server because our request will go nowhere 
now to receive this request in your server what you have to do you have to call another hook which is add action and WP Ajax underscore and next just copy your this action which is currently my action ABC and paste that here so that's how uh, you will create that hook and second is simply your callback function like FGP callback function let me copy this function and paste here like function my function name and that's it and one more thing you have to do just copy and paste here again and before this Ajax again type underscore and type here no priv so why I have called two add actions here because my this hook is for non privileged users like customers if you are admin only your this hook will work if you are not admin your this hook will work so it means that if same request will be sent to the server you can handle that request separately but in my in our case we are going to call the same function it doesn't matter either he is a WP admin or a simple website user so our this function will be called and here what we have to do I will type here like response is equal to like code is equal to one so this is I'm going to create an array and this array will be returned as a JSON JSON and code response here I will type semicolon and now again let me refresh this and here I will type my sum data and now you can see that Ajax request is sent successfully to the server let me click on it and in our response section you can see that same response is coming from our server uh, let me again type here another thing like uh, message Ajax request is working properly comma and now it doesn't need to refresh because now I just have changed the code in my PHP so what I'm going to do I will again type some data and click on submit so this time I have to click on this admin Ajax you can see that our that message Ajax request is working properly is returned from uh, server and how we will get this input data that we are sending simply uh, we can use the like user input data is equal to dollar underscore post because our method was post and from here I will copy this data and paste here okay before that let me show one thing like I will cut this and echo pre print r so you can check that what is stored in our post super global semicolon now again I will click on submit and here you can see that so if you want to access this data what you have to do simply you will type here like this and copy this input data key and now again let me send another Ajax request so you can see that we are uh, successfully accessing this data so now I will cut that and so now here you can do whatever you want with this data either to store this in a server or whatever you want to do and from here I have stored this input data in our variable and here again I will type response user input data is equal to user input data or let me type here UID like user data semicolon again I will send another Ajax request so friends you can see that our Ajax request is working properly okay one last step is how you will handle that response that is coming back from server in your JavaScript so you have to simply do one thing after this method post you have to create a key here like success colon and inside this you can store a callback function so this function will be called when you will receive a response from the server and here I am I'm just printing my server response so now let me 
again remove this all console data here this one as well and if i click on submit so you can see that we have a response coming back from server as an object so from here you can convert this json to javascript object and use this in your logic so friends i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching